the whole world seems to be in a state of tension. While you work, you experience there is tension, anxiety, fear, hankering, aversion, greed. All these negative emotions are present in the mind. They are impacting us and together they are creating stress. So how do you get peace of mind? That is the million dollar question. Sri Krishna gives his answer out here. Bhagavad Gita Sloka Chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda. Kapuryamana Machala Pratishtham Samudra Mapaf Pravishanti Yadvade Tadvad Kamayam Pravishanti Sarve Sashanti Mapnoti Nakama Kami Vihaya Kamanya Sarvan Pumanch Charati Nispriha Nirmamon Nirahankara Sashanti Madhi Gachati Just as the ocean remains undisturbed by the incessant flow of waters from rivers merging into it, likewise the sage who is unmoved despite the flow of desirable objects all around him attains peace and not the person who strives to satisfy desires. That person who gives up all material desires and lives free from a sense of greed, proprietorship and egoism attains perfect peace. So Arjun, what is the way of peace? Everybody wants peace. A Western philosopher called Joshua Liebman, he writes in his biography, he says that when I was young, I made a list of all the things that are desirable, worthy of attaining or achieving or possessing for me in life. So, he was doing his management by objectives, creating the objective to manage his life, which is a good policy. So he said, okay, this is my objective in life. This is what I want to achieve and attain. He said, let's go and have the opinion of a wise man. So there was a learned person in his locality. He went to that learned person and asked him that, is my vision for life right? These are my desirable things. That person said, my son, your list is all right, but there's one item which is missing from it. What is that? Peace. Peace of mind. You have not put peace of mind there. Without peace of mind, all this is a set of zeros without the one. They will only have value if you have peace of mind. So how do you get peace of mind? That is the million dollar question. Sri Krishna gives his answer out here. He says peace of mind will come not by enhancing your material possessions but by eliminating your desires. Vihaya Kaman Yas Sarvan That is the way to peace. So he says, firstly, give up desires. Secondly, sense of proprietorship. This is mine. Thirdly, hankering, which is the same as desire, 
almost and pride the pride that i am the doer the pride in our possessions give all this up and that is how you will find peace this is the way of light that is the way of darkness you know when i was studying in college doing mba so i was living with all the other class fellows we would go and see movies and all on the sunday in kolkata was suddenly by god's grace i mind turned into satsang so that appeared to all my class fellows as gross darkness he can't understand he no longer takes joy in the things that give us joy he is gone crazy so they all declared that this fellow has gone mad nevertheless by god's grace i pursued the path and it after studies working for some time i took the big step and took sanyas and most of my time was spent in small places in india preaching around in small towns and villages and the classmates they went around all over the world and became you know like after 25 years you become big people in india so after 25 years almost we met when i started coming to usa somebody in usa one classmate began hearing the lectures and that classmate told the others oh you must hear him and all so when there was a silver jubilee alumni meet now after 25 years everybody was going back to college yeah i am kolkata so practically at least half the batch came along with their wives or husbands and in case some cases children as well but they sent me an email it was going to be a two day function they said we want you to give a lecture to all of us i said my god the whole world has come around so i am not really so mad after all why this need for hearing the lecture you are now presidents in your companies what is the need for lecture well you know we have not found peace we have got it all we've got position we've got wealth but we don't have peace you seem to be having at least a portion of the peace to tell us the secret of it because we were all we had all done mba this so i gave a lecture spirituality for managers and that turned out to be the highlight of the two day function otherwise they all come back and just drink so i said look what has happened they were thinking there is light there it turned out to be darkness they thought that this path of fulfillment of desires is the path to inner and outer bliss but it turned out to be an exercise in futility now in old age they want to retrace their steps to the extent they can take themselves away from the bottle and this was truly the path to light which sri krishna is revealing here vihaya kamanya sarvan Arjun, it's not in the fulfillment of desires that you will get your peace of mind. It is in giving up. That's why the Vedic concept is very different from the Western concept. In the Western concept, the greater wealth, the greater possessions you have, the higher you are considered. And the Vedic concept is. the greater is your renunciation the greater is your position so that is the path to peace and happiness arjun this is true knowledge the path of light